back again with another video and today I'm going to be talking you through how to shoot better music videos. So what's good guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Hudson, for those of you that don't know, I am a music video director based in London, UK. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to shoot better music videos. And this one is a broad term because obviously everyone has their own style or eventually goes on to develop their own style. So this is kind of like the fundamentals that you'll need to know to get the best out of your music videos in the start and maybe even once you're established as well. So the first tip is looking for symmetry in your shots. And hopefully I don't have to explain what symmetry is, but the fundamentals of it is basically pretty much what I've done here. So I'm in the middle of this shot and we've got two speakers either side of me. We've got the two screens here. Um, yeah, and then obviously the room is square. So we're bang in the middle of that and then we've got stuff that are symmetrical to one another and that's pretty much a fundamental of just everyday life when builders are building they always try and build symmetrically um, when graphic designer not graphic designers or graphic designers as well and interior designers when they design they try and design as symmetrical as possible it is just very aesthetically pleasing to the eye so when it comes to shooting you want to try and stay within those kind of symmetrical rules and just try and make everything aligned as possible. So for example, let's say you're shooting on a block and you've got two big tower blocks in the background, you might want to try and position your artist or your subject right in the middle of that block and then try and shoot maybe upwards or in a way where you can see the symmetry of the block. Because like I said, the builders would have built that block symmetrically. So it's only right that you may be trying to um, capture that, that symmetry to make your shot look as good as it can be. So this second tip kind of falls in line with the first and it's basically working on your composition when you're shooting. So when it comes to composition, a key thing to know is the rule of thirds. And what the rule of thirds is in a nutshell is basically a nine grid system that most cameras, if not all cameras will have and you can activate in the menu system and with this nine grid system, it's gonna place obviously nine grids on your screen and you're able to just compose your shots a lot better. So let's say for example, going back to symmetry, we're shooting a symmetrical shot. I want my subject in the middle and the subject's face or the artist's face, whatever it is that you're filming, it might not be a face, they're gonna, you're gonna try and align that bang in the middle square as possible. And then everything else will kind of overlap into the other squares. Or let's say, for example, you're filming a cutaway scene and you want to show more of the environment, you might show um, the artist or the subject to the left of the screen and then the environment, the background, sorry, taking up the majority of the rest of the frame. So that's basically what the rule of thirds is. Getting to understand how you can use this to benefit your shots is key and imperative to get in your composition correct. So the third tip is working on your camera movement. And what I mean by this is basically understanding what it is that you're shooting and allowing your camera movement to tell the story and do the work for you. So let's say for example, you're shooting a rap video, your camera movement's gonna be a lot more energetic and there's gonna be a lot more movement compared to if you were shooting a singer or an R&B song. So, as you go on, you're gonna obviously hear the track way before you shot the video, hopefully. And you're gonna hopefully just think about the, your shooting style, whether you're gonna do it on a gimbal, whether you're gonna do it handheld, whether you're gonna do it at a certain angle, so on and so forth. But camera movement is key. So going back to rap videos, a lot of them nowadays are shot on a gimbal as most people have access to one and that's cool and that's a movement that we all kind of know and understand but don't be afraid to change that movement to a handheld motion and maybe get a bit shaky with the camera or move the camera in dutch angle kind of ways and be a bit more erratic to suit the song but like i said 
it is dependent on the song. You're not gonna do what you're doing for one song for the next song if the tempo is completely different. So this fourth tip kind of needs a whole video within itself, but I thought I have to mention it here as it's part of shooting better music videos, especially at night. And it's basically understanding lighting and how it affects your scene. So many of you probably already know that when it comes to shooting, lighting is essential. And lighting is a complete art form within itself. I definitely don't understand everything there is to know about lighting. I'm still learning on every shoot that I go on. And it's good that you get out there and just understand how light works as best as you can. So let's say for example, you're shooting your first music video. Many of us will start with the very basics. I started, for example, with the LED panel that you put on your camera. And majority of my first videos was me sticking that light on the front of my camera just to make sure my subject's lit. When it comes to working with light, just understand that when you position these lights in different places, you're gonna get different effects and feels. So work on that. Take that light off your camera, for example, if you've got that same light that I once had and stick it on a light stand and put it to the side, see how that affects the subject. Try and get a stand that puts the light above the subject so you get a nice top light. Just work on pos uh, positioning the lights in different places. And let's say, for example, you've built up your lights and you've got a few now. You can then start working on positioning your lights in different areas to illuminate the subject in different ways. So for example, in this scene, I've got a top light I've got a smaller LED panel there just to give me a bit of feel here. And then I've got my background lights, which are, which are practicals. And what these practicals are doing, that one's basically illuminating this wall here and it's hitting a bit of my face. If I move over, you can see it a bit here. Um, the screens are basically illuminating the desk. And I do normally have a light which is my ceiling light on that will illuminate these pictures but the bulb's gone and yeah time to replace it once you've got a, a decent lighting kit and it doesn't have to be the most expensive one you can then work on positioning your lights in different places and using practicals like seeing lights from a scene to help boost your image so let's say for example you're shooting again back to the block and the block's obviously going to be lit and you might place your subject right in front of that block and light them up with that block in the background. And that block is obviously gonna be seen because it's already lit by itself and you're just having to focus on lighting your subject the best way you can. Another example with shooting interiors, you're gonna work on trying to maybe craft the light a bit better so it's not just a big light illuminating the whole room. You might wanna try and get smaller lights to illuminate the subject in a certain way and then flag off certain parts of that light so it's not hitting the background and then go on to light the background separately in maybe a different color. Basically it's just, yeah, using your light to create a mood, create the best it is, the best image you can from it. And like I said, this kind of needs a whole other video on it because it's so deep, this topic. And again, I'm learning and I'm probably gonna do a whole nother video on it, so I'll bring you that, but yeah, in the meantime, work on your light. So the fifth tip kind of encompasses everything that I've just spoke about, and it is basically just being creative as you possibly can be. And what I mean by this is pretty much using everything that I've just spoke about and blending it all together to create your style and your overall look. So let's say, for example, you're shooting a video again, a music video, as that's probably why you're here. Um, you're gonna use different angles throughout the shoot. You're not gonna stick to one angle. You're gonna maybe use low angles. You're gonna maybe use side angles. You're gonna maybe use top angles. You're gonna shoot as many stuff as you can to just tell your story and just make this music video a masterpiece. And now it's blending that composition and those shooting styles with your lights that I've spoke about as well. So using your lights to create a certain style and create a mood within the image and just be as creative as possible. Like we've all seen music videos where there's lights that are certain colors, there's lights that are strobing, there's lights that are doing all kinds of stuff. So think about that stuff before you go into a shoot and think about how you can get a light to do a certain thing to tell a story or to create a certain energy within the shot. 
and yeah just being as creative as you can be just working 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 getting experience to create your style your style is what's going to get you paid eventually and what's going to get you out there and just make you known and then with that people go on to appreciate that style and hopefully tune in to all your videos so yeah be as creative as you can be don't be afraid to break barriers don't be afraid to uh, try new things with your cameras uh, play with the uh, settings within your camera to get different effects play with the shot angle play with the ISO obviously within reason depending on your shots just play with everything play with your lighting play with your lenses play with everything just to get the best out of what you can possibly get so this bonus tip is pretty much another essential tip and I should have included it in the list but hey we're here and it's basically understanding your camera and your camera equipment so the first thing is obviously your camera. You need to understand how this thing works. You need to know about ISO, shutter angle, uh, color temperatures, um, your lenses, what they do, the focal lengths, so on and so forth. You need to know all this stuff because this is what's gonna allow you to get the best out of your image and the best out of your music videos. So making sure you understand that stuff is imp imperative and is essential Make sure you play around with your camera before any shoot or before, like as soon as you buy the camera, just play around with it, understand how it works, to understand everything there is to know about your camera. And then once you've shot a few stuff, bring it into your editing software. Understand from there how colors affect it when you're grading it. Just don't be afraid to use your camera, even when you're not filming for a client. Just practice with it, use it as much as you can and then going on from your camera, understanding how lenses work, understand what 18mm does as opposed to a 50mm and a 100mm and so on and so forth. So just, yeah, practicing with these different focal lengths. If you don't own them, maybe try and rent them. They're not expensive. Go on to Fat Llama, get some stuff, practice with it. Practice is going to make perfection with this and you need to really understand how they all work. So really, really, really key, key, key understand how your equipment works so that is it for today guys thank you again so much for watching when i compiled this list obviously i'm not the best cinematographer in the world i don't claim to be and i've still got a lot to learn myself but understanding each one of these tips is definitely going to help you improve within your music video work and whatever video work that you're doing it is kind of it kind of encompasses everything that you do visually so yeah don't be afraid to embrace all these tips a lot of it is a factual information use it to the best of your advantage and yeah thanks again for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already drop a like drop a comment and i will see you in the next one love you.